Welcome to our next video. We are talking about statistics. We're talking about frequency distributions in special histograms. For example, take a look at those data. We have 10 different values. 0, 2, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10 and 3. Those are ungrouped data and we want to change them into grouped data. Which means, like, we want to put them into those intervals from 0 to 3, from 3 to 5, from 5 to 7, and so on, and so on. Including 0, excluding 3. 3 is included in the second interval only. It's not included in the first one, it's included in the second. So, how many values occur in those ungrouped data that are between 0 and 3? 0 included, 3 excluded. The answer is 3. Because it is 0, it is 1, it is 2, it's not 3. 0, 2, 2. Which means 3 values that are included in the first interval from 0 to 3. In the, in the second interval, we can find the numbers 3 and 4, but we won't find the number 5, because 5 is not included which means there are two, it's the three and it's this three, which means two values that are included in the second interval and so forth. If you want to have the absolute frequency, you have to just count the numbers that are here in the ungrouped data. Okay, that was the absolute frequency. Then there is the relative frequency. The relative frequency is computed just by the absolute frequency divided by the number of values all in all, which means 10 values. If you add those values, the result is going to be 10, which means 3 divided by 10, 0.3, 2 divided by 10, 0.2, and so on, which means changing the absolute frequencies to relative frequencies is not difficult at all. You just need to divide by the numbers of total numbers, by the number of numbers that are there. Absolute frequency, relative frequency. And then, if you need to calculate, if you need to graph a histogram, all you need to do is take a look at the numbers here, take the numbers from 0 to 12, because we need to have the intervals from 0, starting at 0, and ending here at the number 12. So those are bars. The histogram includes bars and we just need to calculate the height. For example, frequency divided by length is the thing we need to compute here. For example, the frequency of the first class, of the first interval, is 3. If we take the absolute frequency, we could also we could also just as well compute the relative frequency divided by the length, but we can do it here and we will do it this way. Absolute frequency divided by length, which means 3 divided by the length of this interval going from 0 to 3, which means 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, which means that the first bar will have a height of 1 computed here, and goes from 0 to 3. The second, just as well, 2, the absolute frequency, divided by the length of the interval going from 3 to 5. And so on and so on. So these are the heights of the bars of the histogram and the histogram itself shows us that many numbers are on the left side, to put it this way which is visible in this histogram. A histogram is a visualization of those data. First, we need to change ungrouped data to grouped data. And second, we need to visualize those data. And this is what a histogram does. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.